Hey you guys, how is everyone doing? I hope that when you're viewing this video, life is finding you in a great space. I pray that, I really do. Listen, if you've not already subscribed to this channel, please do so and click the notification bell so that you would be notified when I am uploading new videos. I would appreciate it so much. I would also appreciate your feedback. I enjoy getting feedback. I enjoy responding back to your comments. Whether I agree with them or not, hey, we all have our differences of opinions and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. The truth is the truth and opinion is an opinion. And so I share from my life experiences and by the way, I'm getting ready to drop another book, Freedom from Narcissistic Abuse Through the Eyes of a Survivor. So I'm really looking forward to this book coming out. Um, I'm hopeful that it will drop the second week of December. So we're right at crunch time. So let's see what happens, okay? So for this video, I'm going to be briefly talking about narcissistic abuse. Once again, someone made this question um, or asked this question, I should say, what does it mean when a narcissist stays in a relationship with you for a long period of time? She was with this individual, I'm assuming it was a woman, was with this individual for four years and eventually he decided to leave. Actually, it was a woman. He decided to leave. Um, my thoughts, to be quite frank with you, anything that a nasty, evil, cruel person feels like they could get away with for a long period of time, they will do it. It doesn't matter what it is. You think about a bank robber. You think about uh, any of the other things that folks are doing out here that they should not be doing, and they stay in it for a long period of time. Knowing that it is wrong, they get comfortable with it and it becomes the norm. Well, with the narcissist, there is a little twist with it. A lot of times, you may be that supplier for them. You may be that person that is providing everything that they need essentially for that moment because as I, I've stated before no one no one person would never be able to uh, be all that a narcissistic person needs them to be no one a narcissist needs multiple people no one could ever be enough for them one person so in my opinion staying for a long period of time it was some type of attachment that he was getting from her that he needed so if you know that you're in a long-term relationship with a narcissist it's something that is connected to you that he or she needs in that moment and the moment that they find someone else who could give it to them and give it to them better or do it for them and do it better, they will perhaps leave. And then you have some real greedy ones that may take from you and that other individual. So they may not leave. Some of them may just get flat out just tired of being with you. Because you know, I believe that a lot of things that they crave is the challenge. The challenge of having that adrenaline pumping to see what they could get away with. And if you are that individual that allows them to do it time and time and time again, you are no longer a challenge for them. You are no longer a threat to them. They want something new and exciting. And not exciting in a good way. They want to see if they could get that rush to trick that woman or man. To get what they want from them. It's all about a game. So what I don't want you all to do. Is make the mistake in believing. Or thinking for a moment. That they could perhaps love you. And this is why they're still with you. Don't deceive yourself like that. And don't allow them to deceive you like that. Because that is not the case. As there's always always an agenda always an agenda so moving forward during this Christmas holidays 
protect your heart. I did a video not too long ago regarding making sure that you secure your heart. Because if they're gone, that same person that you were with for years, they may very well reappear around the holidays. So be careful of that. So you won't find yourself being swindled back into their lies of webs, their web of lies all over again. You don't want to do that. Because it paid the, the, the cost is just too high. The cost is your heart. The cost is your free your your peace of mind. That's a high price to pay. Your peace of mind is worth more than money. Because you could have all the funds in the world but be miserable. So let's not allow them to do that to you this holiday season, period, for the rest of your life. Take control of your life. So there are probably various reasons why they stay. But this is my thoughts on one of the reasons that I am sure that they stick around. I am sure. And it may not even be, let's just go even a little bit deeper. They may know that you're working on some business plan. They may stick around to see how that flourished because they know when you got it, they got it too. There's always a reason why they are there. It's not because they feel sorry for you because if they felt any kind of pity or, or, or guilt for what they're doing, they wouldn't be doing it. They have no sympathy, no empathy for no one else. So they're not sorry for you. So leave them where they are. If they're gone, let them stay gone. And if they're not gone, you have to work on figuring out a way how you can get this person out of your life to move on. Because it will continuously be misery for you throughout the rest of your time with them. And you're too precious for that. You're too precious for that. And I'm especially talking to the ladies at this time. You're too precious for that. Just too precious. I can't say that enough times. You're not built for men to trample all over you and treat you like you're nothing. Okay? Keep that thought in your mind. And I'm getting off of here because I'm starting to get extremely emotional right now. Because I want you all to get it so desperately. You are precious. You are loved. And don't you never, ever allow anyone to think you're no less than that. You may be going through it right now for a moment. You've allowed your heart to love the wrong person. It's just that simple. You allowed your heart to love the wrong person and they took advantage of it. But there's always a way out and always a solution out. And if you need that solution, send me a message. The email is in my bio. So please, if you have anything that you would want to say to me, any questions, any thoughts, you can leave your comments. If you would like to share something private with me, send it to me in an email. Once again, my name is Tracy Smalls Delestin. If I've not already said that at the beginning of this uh, video, I love you guys. Always remember healthy mind, joyful life. Do not allow anyone to distort your peace, joy, or happiness. Don't let them change who you are. And even if you find yourself in that situation, start doing something to make a change. Love you all. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.